Hello guys, welcome to another interesting class on Benko Institute of Technical Studies. I am Gideon, your generator technician. On today's class, we are looking at how to identify genuine generators. Uh, often at times, we see people complain that they bought generators and somehow they bought the fake of it. They didn't know it was not genuine because it looked like the genuine one. So in today's class, we'll be looking at the various ways and the various techniques to identify a genuine generator. Without further ado, let's dive into it. All right, we are using a Sumec Fireman generator to explain in details how to identify a generator as a matter of fact um, this particular variation of things we'll be using to identify the generator this particular generator still applies to other brands at least majority of other brands so if we talk about a particular thing i would do make mention of fireman just kindly apply it to other brands and when i mean other brands i mean other major brands you get all right Without further ado, let me pinpoint them. Okay, for fireman generators, they usually have engravement on their tank. Okay, when you buy a fireman generator, it's most likely that you will find a fireman engraved on their tank. I said engraved, I didn't say sticker or fireman on it, I said engraved. Okay, that is one key way to know a genuine fireman generator. That also applies to generators like LAPAC. For LAPAC, you see an engravement of LAPAC on it. Okay, all right, done with the tank, let's check the air filter. For the air filter chamber, there is an engravement of fireman as well. Okay, if you have, if you happens to happen to buy a fireman generator and there is no engravement like this on it, perhaps there's just a sticker and it's not an engravement, I'm sorry to tell you, you've succeeded in buying a fake fireman generator. All right. Another key point, another key thing to note is this, is the carburetor. For all genuine fireman carburetor, for all genuine fireman generator, their carburetor is usually, 100% of the time, is crested with fireman, F-I-R-O-M-A-N. That is the exact spelling. For some other carburetor, I happen to see a generator not too long. It looks more like fireman, but if you don't look carefully, you wouldn't know it's not fireman. Where this is spelled F-I-R-O-M-A-N, that is spelled F-I-R-O-M-A-O-X. Okay, this N was changed to X. So if you happen to get a generator or you intend buying a generator and you check the carburetor, it doesn't have this engravement. I'm sorry, that is a fake generator. Same thing happened to the top cylinder cover or the valve cover. When you check the valve cover and you do not find an engravement of fireman on it, I'm sorry, the generator is not a genuine fireman generator. Okay, moving down to the to the exhaust, the exhaust muffler. This part of the generator is called the exhaust muffler. Moving down to the exhaust muffler, you have an engravement of fireman as well. Remember, it's an engravement, it's not a sticker. You have an engravement of fireman as well. When you find this engravement of fireman, that simply tells you the generator is in fact a genuine one. All right, moving down a little to the rear, the alternator rear. Um, this particular part is called the rear part of the generator. It is most of the times called the amateur cover in local term, but it's a rear, it's the rear part of the generator the alternator part okay if you look here carefully you see a standard engravement 
a standard engravement fireman you know the right spelling of fireman is f-i-r-o-m-a-n when you see fireman here you definitely know if it's an engravement of fireman you definitely know it's a genuine generator but if you don't find any engravement like this you find fireman written in other ways please i'm sorry to tell you that generator is in fact not genuine all right another key thing to note is the a uh, battery although this battery for this particular generator has been changed but on the norm you should find a sumac typed on this a sumac battery it should be a sumac battery however this battery has been changed okay one thing to note again is this one short thing to note is this a sumac fireman generator usually have an engravement on this crankcase in fact that is one of the most important key to note when getting a generator if you find a sumac fireman generator and there is no engravement on this crankcase and that thus means you are buying the fake of the fake if there's a term like fakers you are buying the fakers of gener of sumac generator if there's actually a term like that okay this is it a sumac fireman engravement a fireman engravement f-i-r-o-m-a-n engravement on it together with the engine number okay together with the engine number all right another thing another thing to note when getting a fireman generator is this particular sticker although this sticker alone cannot tell you if a generator if the sumac fireman generator is genuine but sometimes when you get a fake generator there's a little variation just like this we have sumac machinery and electrical limited there are some there's a gap between the sumac sum is a little gap ec sometimes they are misspelled are you getting me sometimes they are misspelled when you check this carefully and you discover everything is appropriate together with other engravement that shows the sumac fireman generator is genuine all right guys this particular um, generator is up for sale um, for a price of 270,000 naira. Actually, the person who used the generator before now bought it, but for some reason, uh, decided to sell it off. So if you're interested, please do well to drop your comments in the comment section or talk directly with us via our WhatsApp link. So I'll just put the generator on so you have an idea of how sound and good the generator itself is. Alright, that is it. You can see how sound the generator is. The generator engine has not been opened before now because it's very, very perfect. It has never been touched. If you are getting this, it's a very, very good deal. It's a very, very good deal, I must say. Alright, to be in our next class is goodbye from us. And before you please leave this video, do well to subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Do well to turn on the notification bell so that when videos are posted, you are among the first to see them and do well to share this link to friends and family you wouldn't want to keep this knowledge to yourself to meet in our next class is goodbye from us